Hello learners, welcome. In form two previously, lesson six, we were dealing with the relative atomic mass. In lesson seven, today we are dealing with the ion formation. So let's start by knowing what is ion. Okay, we are told ion is the judge particle formed when an atom gains or loses electron. So this point we are told atoms with an electron configuration of two, two, eight, two, eight, eight are said to be stable. So that means, remember, we said the electron configuration is also known as electron arrangement. So the electron configuration of 2, 2, 8, 2, 8, 8 are said to be stable. So therefore, we are told atoms without this electron configuration, they tend this stability by either losing or gaining electrons. For example, if we deal with magnesium, magnesium is number 12 in the periodic table. So if we take that in electronic configuration, it will be 2, 8, 2. So if you check this electronic configuration, it's not stable. Check, we are told, the stable electron configuration of an atom is 2, 2, 8, 2, 8, 8. But we are having 2, 8. For this one to form ion, it has to lose 2 electrons so that it gets 2, 8 as it is a stable electron configuration or gain 6 so that it has that 2, 8, 8, which is a stable electron configuration. Okay, let's go for types of ions. We have two types of ions. One is a cation, then the other one is an ion. So in this lesson, we are going to deal with only cations. Okay, what are cations? Cations are positively judged ions. They are positively judged ions. Example, we are having formation of sodium ion. Formation of sodium ion. So let's just try to explain. We are told sodium with atomic number of 11. Remember, sodium is number 11 in the first 20 elements of the periodic table. So with electron configuration of 2, 8, 1. So if you add 2 plus 8 plus 1, those will give you 11. Can acquire a stable electron configuration of 2, 8 by losing one electron. Yeah. If you're having electronic configuration of 2, 8, 1, remember we said the stable electron configuration is 2, 2, 8, or 2, 8, 8. So if sodium loses one electron, we are going to get an electronic configuration of 2, 8, which is a stable electron arrangement. Or we are told by gaining seven electrons so that it will have an electronic configuration of 2, 8, 8. Because if it gains seven electrons, we are going to get an electronic configuration of 2, 8, 8, which is a stable electron configuration. So we are told since it requires less energy, so it is easier for sodium atom to lose one electron than to gain seven electrons. Remember, we use energy. So for sodium to lose one electron is better than to gain seven electrons because losing one electron requires less energy than gaining seven electrons. So the resulting sodium particle will only have 10 electrons. That's very correct because here we are losing one electron. Remember, in the nucleus of sodium, we have 11 protons and also 12 neutrons. That's the nucleus and the energy level or uh, the energy levels of sodium is having now 11 electrons. So if we lose one electron, we are going to remain with 10 electrons. You have to know that. So at all, the resulting particle uh, will have only 10 electrons, while the nucleus still has 12 electrons. That is, I mean, uh, still have 11 protons. Yeah, it's supposed to be 11 protons. Okay. 11 positive judges, because we said both uh, protons are positively judged particles, and 11 negatively negative judges, that's electrons. Remember, we said uh, electrons are negatively judged particles. Gives the resulting particle a net judge of plus one, and the particle formed is known as sodium ion. So remember, uh, if we said sodium is having uh, 11 protons and it is having 12 neutrons, then it was having initially 11 electrons, but it has lost one electron, then it's going to have 10 electrons. Remember, we said uh, atom is electrically neutral or has no joint. Reason, due to the equal number of protons and neutrons. But now the protons are 11. That means 11 minus or if you say plus, minus, then the electrons which are negative, which we have here, 10. So 11 plus, minus, so it's 11 plus and minus will get negative. So what is 11 minus 10? That's positive 1. So that means it's going to have a new judge of positive 1. Okay, we can represent that using diagrams, the structures of the atom and the ion of that sodium. So this is the atomic structure of sodium. It's having a... Uh, an electronic configuration of 281, sodium atom is number 11. So you can represent the nucleus or you can put the, the nucleus 11 protons and 
12 neutrons. That means you can put the nuclear composition in the nucleus of that atom. Then in the energy level, you have two in the first energy level, and eight in the second energy level, and one in the third energy level. So for this sodium to become stable, it has to lose one rather than gaining seven. So we are having a loss of one electron. Then when it loses one electron, we are going to remain with two energy levels only, which is completely filled up with two and eight electrons, respectively. So that means the neat judge for this ion of sodium, it's going to have plus. That's the neat judge we have said earlier on. So thereafter, there's another way that we can represent uh, this side of uh, 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 ion formation. That's just by using the chemical symbol of the element. So in the case here, we're dealing with sodium. So we write sodium. So sodium is losing one electron. When you're losing electron, we put those electrons on the right-hand side. So we're going to get sodium ion plus electron. That This electron is the one electron that we have lost. So when you lose electron, those electrons are added on the right-hand side. This is another way of writing ion formation. Okay. Next, we are having... Uh, B formation of calcium ion. Remember, calcium is number 20, so it will be having an electronic configuration of 2882. So this is calcium atom. This is the structure of calcium atom. It's having four energy levels. The first one with two, second with eight, third with eight, then the fourth with two electrons. So it's having 288. For it to become stable, it has to lose two electrons. So lose of two electrons. Here we are going to get the ion of calcium. That's calcium ion. So calcium ion is going to have initially 20 protons is going to have 20 uh, neutrons and also it was having 20 electrons but since it has lost two electrons it is going to remain with 18 electrons so if we take now protons which are 20 so we are having 20 protons then we subtract minus 18 electrons because remember this 18 are electrons and electrons are negatively charged so there we are going to get two and it's positive two so that means the new charge for that collection will be positive two Okay, what about the ion, the electron configuration of the ion of uh, calcium? It will be 288, eight, like that. Then lastly, we got to see that means formation of aluminum ion. So remember, aluminum is number 13. That means the electronic configuration will be 283, 13, if you add this. So this is the atomic structure. So what you can do again on the atomic structure is you can shed your nucleus or you can write the chemical symbol of, of the element as we have done on the side of the calcium. So, uh, aluminum will lose two, three electrons because it can become stable by losing three or by gaining five. So, three is better because it requires less energy for aluminum to lose three electrons rather than gaining five. So, when it loses three electrons, we are going to get an ion of aluminum with electronic configuration of two, eight, two, eight, like that. So, and the judge formed is three plus because remember, uh, aluminum is having 13 protons and 13 electrons, but that's plus three electrons, there will give you now 10 electrons. So what is 13, which is positively judged particles, plus then minus 10 for that electron, which is negatively judged. So 13 minus 10, that's positive three. So that's the new charge. Okay, lastly, we are told metals lose electrons to form positively judged ions. So uh, sodium is a metal, calcium is a metal, aluminum is a metal. So when metals lose, they are going to form positively judged cut ions. So next class, we are going to be dealing with an ion. That's number two.